The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center want to use this medium to commend the presidency for signing the companies and allied matters repealed and reenactment Act 2020. This is a step in fulfilling the desired anti-corruption reforms in Nigeria. This legislation has the potential to be one of the most significant laws in decades. Important anti-corruption and business commitments made by the president and government at different occasions can finally be put in motion. Recall that since joining the Open Government Partnership, anti-corruption uh, since joining the Open Government Partnership movement and since making the important public uh, commitment in 2016, anti-corruption summit in London in 2016, beneficial ownership disclosure and public register of the companies is one of the most important but outstanding commitments still not fulfilled. It is widely accepted that law enforcement and anti-corruption agencies failed to identify real owners profiting from the strategic Nigerian registered business entities active in the oil and gas sector, defense, construction, and others. Leak letter, uh, leak after leak in Panama Papers, uh, parade uh, documents, and many other local investigations have confirmed what Nigerian students have long suspected. Action and identities are hidden behind obstructive and fake business ownership to loot state resources and reduce contribution to the Nigerian tax base. As you recall, many of the companies, they get very suspicious and scandalous tax holiday or tax waivers because the real owners of those companies are the people who are actually approving that tax waivers. So in other words, the country is losing huge amount of money because some people are in the position to maneuver and give themselves waiver. So if you have beneficial ownership register, it will have been able to expose the identity of those who are owning these oil you know, companies, construction companies, and so many businesses that you know, Nigeria, is, because of their practice and because of their self-centered interest, Nigeria continuously lose, loses um, revenue from those you know, uh, uh, businesses. Until now, the absence of the enactment of the Kama made it impossible to act on the establishing publicly available register of beneficial owners. Financing Nigerian part against corruption and poverty is sabotaged continuously by financial scarcity, which erodes national sovereignty. Instead of funding ourselves from taxing business activity, we borrow money abroad and roll our budget at unfavorable and unsustainable terms. You are all aware of the kind of you know, loans that the country has continuously collected, you know, and those terms are not even made public. You know, and those terms, if you look at them, you know, uh, based on even some of the information that you know, is coming, is scaring. A situation whereby we are spending huge amount of our national budget to service debts. Almost close to one third of our national budget is committed to servicing debt, not to paying the debt. So you can see that we are really in trouble. We cannot continue to collect these loans, this debt, without actually prudent management of these you know, um, loans or projects that are meant to be executed. So we have a situation whereby you have so many loans from West America, China, and so many places that you cannot actually quantify their you know, um, value in terms of the project that they say they are going to be using this in. That is why we think National Assembly must continue to exercise its fundamental oversight role to ensure that whatever loans that are collected, especially those loans that they say is tied to project, they need to make sure that they oversight those projects because in the first place, these loans, they are supposed to actually you know, be used for those projects, specific projects, and those projects, they are supposed to pay back you know, the loans. So if you just continue to collect money and the money is diverted, the loan is diverted, 
or is stolen or is mis mismanaged, how are you going to you know, recover this and pay back this debt? So National Assembly must wake up to ensure that you know, they save Nigeria and Nigerians based on the mandate they have. With the provision regarding the uh, disclosure of person with significant control in companies, Kama introduces transparency provision with an obligation for entities to disclose capacity in which shares are held, either as a beneficial owner or as a nominee of an interested person. Furthermore, restriction on multiple directorship in public companies prohibits a person from being a director in more than five public companies at a time. You know this idea of every now and then when you know that there's a contract, you go and plot a company, you go and register a company so that you can grab all the contracts. So under this new legislation, you are not entitled to you know, be a director in more than five companies because we have seen in many of those corruption cases, somebody is involved in many companies, multiple companies, because it is just um, you know, a clever way to defraud the country. If a tip, we will be able to edge closer to curbing discretionary practices that fuel corruption within the system. Let us recall that Nigeria loses an estimate of 17 billion on illicit financial flow, outflow through tax evasion, theft, laundering of you know, uh, corrupt proceeds and other crimes through companies with unclear ownership structure. When implemented, Nigeria Treasury can profit from windfall of tax revenues and other revenues leakages. In the context of the sheltered economy after the global pandemic, this instrument can single-handedly help alleviate millions of Nigerians out of object poverty. CISLAC, at different occasions, called both the legislature and the executive on the importance of this law, and we are thankful that we have, in, we have it now. We want to extend our appreciation to the National Assembly who speedily passed this law in the early days of the Ninth Assembly after suffering a non assent by the President in the Eighth Assembly. We also want to thank the media and concerned you know, uh, stakeholders who have, who have at one time or the other received awareness from our engagement on this and joined the crusade for the actualization of this important legal framework. We urge governmental authorities to step up with the establishing policies, tools, and instruments, which will aid a speedy enactment of this provision and implementation. It is important that this conduct is executed with political you know, impartiality and professionalism. We commit that civil society organization will monitor the implementation and will continue to highlight gaps and deficiencies. Sadly, we witness that many anti-corruption laws and policies are largely sound but are not complied with. This must not be the case for this legal provision. We will continue working with National Assembly to ensure that proper civilian oversight and monitoring of this law is also um, conducted. With the person Kama, we joined the elite club in Africa next to Botswana, Egypt, Ghana, Kenya, Mauritius, uh, and um, Tunisia together with Nigeria. These countries introduced some kind of beneficial ownership friendly legislation. We thank, uh, we want to specifically loud the effort of the Register General Al Haji Garba Abu Bakr, who has and returnedly worked hard in hand with us on this issue since his days as director of the uh, com uh, compliance at CAC till date. In conclusion, we urge the National Assembly to hasten their efforts in other anti-corruption deals and present them to the president for his assent because there are still certain number of um, uh, legal framework that will you know, strengthen the anti-corruption work in Nigeria that are still waiting for the National Assembly to you know, um, take legislative action. We believe that with this you know, um, combined effort, 
by the National Assembly, the executive, the media, and civil society, we believe that we will be able to deal with corruption decisively and make corruption not attractive you know, for anybody. 